In this video, we're going to talk about some of the campiest characters in Ultimate. But before we do, let's talk about what camping actually means. If you've played Smash for a minute, you've probably heard of the term camping, but do you know where it came from? And could you give it a definition? Smash took the term camping from the world of first-person shooters, where it honestly makes more sense. In first-person shooters, it means posting up in one spot for pretty much the entire game waiting for someone to come into your crosshairs. In Smash, camping means whatever you want it to be after you're mad that your opponent got the lead and chose not to approach you. Okay, okay, that's not really what camping means. Camping is a tricky term to pin down because it does get used a lot as a salty comeback, but it is still a useful term. Since Smash is such a positional game, you can occupy a strong position that is easy to defend and sit there, like a first-person shooter. The difference in Smash is camping is actually a lot more versatile and in some ways more useful than in an FPS. There are a lot of ways you could define camp, but for this video, we're going to define it like this, rarely approaching and stuffing out the opponent's approaches. The most obvious kind of camping is when someone fires a bunch of projectiles, forcing the other player to come to them. However, that's far from the only type of camping. Throughout Smash history, there's been tons of different styles of camping. Some forms of camping were stage-related and were so bad they got stages banned and timers introduced. Really fast characters can camp by playing pure bait and punish, only ever reacting to an opponent. Sorties can play campy by purely waiting for an opponent to come in range and swatting them away when they do. There are a lot of ways to play campy. Believe it or not, a lot of characters in Ultimate have hitboxes and disjoints to be campy with, no or few varied projectiles. We're also going to talk about the campiest characters at high level of play, because at low level of play, literally every character can be campy and this video would become literally impossible. If you're looking to raise your level up of play, then you should head over to ProGuides.com. We've got a live coaching platform, courses from top players, and we're building up our own character guide section too. Now let's take a look at some of the campiest characters in Ultimate. Keep in mind, we're not going to get into every character that's camped you in quick play, because that's just impossible to manage. But feel free to tell us who you think the campiest characters are in the comments below. Snake is probably the most obvious pick for this list. Snake's huge array of projectiles give him the ability to make a spot of the stage safe for him and dangerous for his opponent. His whole kit is designed around making his opponent have to pick certain options to approach. Then, Snake reads those options and reacts. He's kind of like a textbook camper and it does give him a reputation of being kinda lame. But Snake can still be pretty hype and set up some of the most biggest brain plays in the game too. He's just not the same type of hype as a pure rushdown character might be. Speaking of Rushdown, let's talk about Zero Suit Samus. For many people, Zero Suit Samus is one of the coolest and most exciting characters to watch in Ultimate. She's also one of the absolute campiest. Zero Suit Samus is a great example of a campy Rushdown character. She has a ton of mid-range hitboxes that are perfect for stuffing out her opponent's approaches. She also has one of the best defensive tools in the game, Flip Kick. Flip Kick can dip her out of disadvantage in so many scenarios that camping can be less risky for her than other characters. If she gets hit off stage or in the air, she can still survive. Zero Suit Samus also gets huge rewards out of reading her opponents and reacting to them. Her pistol isn't a great raw range option, but it can be a good follow-up or even a kill if it catches an opponent. The same goes for a side special. ZSS does have to be very careful when using these high reward options though. The lag makes them a high risk as well. But if Zero Suit Samus wants to stay low risk, she has a lot of aerials that are super fast, safe, and spammable. Zero Suit Samus can use her forward aerial to undershoot and catch opponents coming at her. Even if she whiffs her forward air, a lot of characters don't have the tools to punish her for it. Zero Suit Samus is one of Ultimate's better campers and better approaches as well, and it's part of the reason why she's a top tier character overall. You could say the same for Wario too. Wario's insane airspeed, fast aerials, and WAP make him surprisingly good at camping. Normally, a character like Wario wouldn't gain anything from sitting back and letting the clock run. However, for Wario, all that time lets the beans, raw meat, rotten vegetables, and chickpeas in his stomach swirl up for a nice big fart. Unlike most rushdown characters, Wario is alright waiting a while and even letting his opponent sit back. Although Waft alone isn't enough to make Wario one of the best campers, it's his great air game that puts him over the top. He has super fast air acceleration and great aerials so he can jump, camp meaning he can jump around and stall in the air a lot better than most of the cast. You can try and knock him out in the air, but it's pretty difficult because he can outmaneuver and beat the aerial options that most of the cast has. Then, once he has his waft, he punishes mistakes a lot harder than most other characters would, making his camp game even more potent. On top of all that, Wario's weight makes him tough to kill with a raw aerial, so he can stay alive even longer by jump camping. Like Zero Suit Samus, Wario can also apply a lot of pressure and has his own ways of getting his offense started. That doesn't necessarily make him less campy, it just makes him a top tier character. 
Now let's get back to some of the expected picks. Pac-Man is one of Ultimate's most well-known campers. Now that he's been buffed by some changes to grab in the game engine, he's also a much bigger threat. And he's at his most threatening when he's ahead and he can sit back, waiting for the enemy to come to him. Pac-Man's good out of shield options make him pretty tricky to pressure. His fire hydrant makes it pretty hard to punish his landing too, and his projectiles are some of the best combo tools, so he can tack on a lot of percent by waiting for the opponent to approach and then opening him up with a fruit or a spaceship. Pac-Man can turn aggressive when he has the bell and the opponent is in kill percent. However, he is generally a pretty campy character who's content to play behind his fire hydrant. We don't see a ton of Banjo in tournaments, so it might be surprising to hear that he's a super campy character. However, at high level, Banjo relies a lot on his rear egg and he mostly uses it to zone. Banjo works a bit like Snake, using his rear egg to create patterns in the opponent's approach. Then he reads and beats the patterns, kinda like a weird bear bird version of Snake. On top of Rear Egg, Banjo's side special, Wandering, is a great camping tool too. At first glance, Wandering's big range and invincibility makes it seem like it's a good option for offense. But approaching with Wandering is pretty dangerous since it's easy to react to, shield, and then punish. However, Wandering is a great reaction tool. Wandering has the range to punish a lot of mid-range whiffs and can sometimes punish an enemy's dash or shield drop. Wandering makes Banjo even better at camping because it makes approaching him even harder. His opponents have to think super carefully about their movement and can't threaten with safe arrows from a distance. Couple the rear egg and wandering with his neutral special and his heavyweight status, Banjo is kinda snake part 2. Here's another character you might not see often, Robin. As a combination of a sortie and a zoner, camping was always gonna be Robin's way of life. Robin's nice disjoints help keep the enemy at a good distance, while Robin's specials let Robin do damage and take kills without having to close the distance. Like a lot of mid-tier zoners, Robin kinda has to play campy. Robin doesn't have nearly as many good tools for approaching as they have tools to beat approaches. Robin's slow speed makes it hard to chase characters down too, and Robin's aerials don't have a good oomph to them until Robin gets left in sword. On top of that, since Robin is a Fire Emblem character, their grab game isn't great either. That doesn't mean Robin is flat out bad, but it does mean they'll do better responding to aggression rather than creating it. And that makes a lot of Robin players play campy because it's just optimal. At higher levels of Smash, making the highlight reel isn't nearly as important as playing optimally. That wraps our top 6 campiest characters in Ultimate. It's actually pretty hard to choose just 6 and there are a lot of characters that could go on here too. Olimar, King Day to Day, Mega Man, Villager, Samus, whew, especially Samus. They're all pretty campy. Let us know who you think the campiest characters are in Smash in the comments below. And remember, you may not like facing it, you may not like even watching it, but camping is a legitimate strategy in Smash. For some characters, it's often the best strategy. Camping is also a little bit of a weird term that has different definitions to different people. For some people, camping just means projectile spamming, or spamming one safe move, or not being Mango or Nairo. But if you're thinking about your own growth and how to play the game, it's best to give camping a better definition than that. And it's best not to use it as a random salty insult. The best way to beat a strategy is to know the strategy. You're not going to know the strategy very well if you can't even define it. If you're looking for more strategies and ways to improve, be sure to head over to ProGuides.com. If you want videos about camping and approaching, you can find that right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to take a look around the channel. Then go on ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get fresh new videos five days every single week. <laughs> hey.